Welcome back to the Salt Lake Stadium in Calcutta for the second half of this uh, round nine match in the 2012-2013 I-League between Prague United, the home team, and uh, Mumbai FC. Decent crowds rolled in. They're enjoying themselves, most of them Prague supporters, of course, the home team. And they'll be pretty chuffed with the fact that Ranty Martins is on the score sheet and Prague are in the lead. The uh, flags you can see, the Prague fans. Martins, the goal scorer, after 29 minutes, latching on to a through ball from Asif Kotiel. And a nice, cute first time finish with his right foot. Past the advancing Luis Barreto in the Mumbai FC goal. The, the uh, 12th goal of the season for Ranty Martins. And the Mumbai players out there already. Some points being made by the veteran Yusuf Yakubu. Interestingly enough, Pride United are one of only two sides at the start of this uh, round nine of this season's I League who are yet to keep a clean sheet. The others being here, India. So that would be something I'm sure that defensively they would want to achieve over the next 45 minutes. They were able to keep a clean sheet, of course, that would guarantee them the victory, whether or not they score once again. And it's a victory they certainly need as the Prague United players make their way back out onto the pitch. It's a victory they need because since uh, the first match in charge for Ilko Shatori, the Dutchman who's taken over from Sanjoy Sen. That first match in round five where they won 10-1 against United Sikkim. Since then, just one point from a possible nine. 2-1, uh, rather, uh, I should say four points from a possible nine. 2-1 win against Palin Arrows. And uh, then a 1-1 draw against uh, Salgoka. And then a 2-1 loss against Churchill Brothers. So the Prague United players just getting together. Final chat out on the pitch. The coach makes his way to the dugout. And we're almost ready to get underway once more. Carlos Hernandez there, number 16. Just... Uh, making his thoughts plain Costa Rica International and there's Mr Adley Costa an official for the day from Goa just checking with the uh, other officials that we are ready to go And he blows the whistle and gets us underway. So the second half starts with uh, Mumbai kicking off, playing in the uh, orange and white shirts and black shorts, kicking from right to left on your screens. Mumbai have taken uh, 10 points from a possible 12 in their last four matches. 3-2 win against uh, Sporting Club de Goa. 4-1 win against Shillong Lajong 1-1 against Mohan Bagan and a 1-0 win in their last outing against ONGC and straight away they've got a free kick free kick's going to be taken by James Singh goes towards the back post and Evans Quire with the header and in the end, it's gathered reasonably comfortably by Ishant Devnath. It was nice delivery there, though, by James Singh. Picking out the big Ghanaian at the back post. He couldn't quite get enough power in his header to uh, trouble Ishant Devnath. Promising signs there, though, for Mumbai at the start of this second half. Go, go, go. 
and then come forward again. And that had to be a shove in the back, the back of the head, in fact, by uh, Lal Kamal Bomek. It was uh, a cynical foul on Darren Caldera. Look at that. Doesn't get any clearer than that. You can raise your hands as much as you want, Lal Kamal Bomek, but the referee's going to see that. And he's conceded a free kick in a very dangerous position, in an awkward position, as you can see, for Ishan Debnath, the goalkeeper, because uh, the ball's coming out of shade and into the sun. And the sun's getting quite low now. It's winter time in Kolkata. So James Singh, right footed, three men in the wall. And an attempted flick on by Gabriel Fernandez, not able to uh, get the type of touch he was after. And uh, you just fancy that really is a wasted opportunity for Mumbai. Lovely position they had there, but weren't able to make the most of it. Good defensive work there from uh, Lukram James Singh. Yusuf Yakubu, good body strength to hold off the defender, looks for the one two. In the end, that was uh, snuffed out by Lal Kamal Bomek. And down goes Ranti Martins under the challenge of Haruna Miri. Still no cards brandished by Mr. Adley Costa as yet. And uh, just a coming together between the two players, and that's nice to see at the end of it. Good defensive work again from Faisal Rahman. He's taken no prisoners on that uh, right-hand side for Mumbai in the match so far. Throw-in conceded, though, and that throw-in is going to be taken by Danachandra Singh. Between the advertising boards. And looking for the long throw. Oh, really challenging there for uh, Prague, though. No one had really made a run, which was disappointing because it was a pretty inviting throw. And Chandra Singh down this right hand side. Goes deep, and uh, in the end, it was uh, CK Beneath, who was a real thorn in the side for Mumbai in that first half, particularly down the left hand side. Timed his run well there. But uh, in the end, it was neither one thing nor the other, neither a cross nor a shot. up by Nicolas Rodriguez, plays the ball forward to Yusuf Yakubu. He's hustled out of it by Chandrasekhar Rao, looked as though he took a knock in making that challenge. Throw into Mumbai. And again. Nicholas Rodriguez just plays it off the uh, legs of the defender, Lucran James Singh. Again, the players just occasionally struggling with the bounce of the ball. High bounce, disconcerting them on occasions. Ball hoofed long, looking for Ranti Martins. And then Faisal Raymond returns the compliment. Good strength from Evans Quo, who goes down under challenge, an unfair challenge it was deemed by the referee by Danachandra Singh. The, just a little nudge in the back, and the big fella goes down. So the free kick won for Mumbai, and again the opportunity to get those big men forward. So do, 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 what sort of delivery are we going to have here then from uh, Nicolas Rodriguez? Going to swing it in, left-footed. Plenty of players making runs. Goes towards the back yeah! post. Oh, well good delivery and a good finish in the end. Evans Quo it is. 1-1. One, one. We made the point previously that those big men for Mumbai really are a danger at set pieces. And there's a case in point. 
fantastic powerful header from just inside the six yard box lovely delivery it was too from Nicolas Rodriguez and even though Guramanji Singh was jumping with Evans Kwao he certainly had uh, no chance at all of beating the big Garnet into that one Gurmangi Singh unable to prevent Evans Kwao getting the equaliser so it's 1-1 and Prague United's uh, unwanted record of still not having a clean sheet this season that continues and a badly mistimed challenge there on Lucram James Singh Justin Stephen there missing the ball and catching the attacker now just winded a little bit there I'm not quite sure what <laughs> Carlos Hernandez was doing there's <laughs> some very interesting uh, tactics there being adopted to uh, try and get Luca and James Singh back on his feet just all pumping his legs and then tipping water on his stomach I think uh, the technical term is that he was kicked in a place you don't really like to be kicked he's holding what appears to be his kidneys there and uh, when all said and done that will be extremely painful and he looks in some degree of difficulty there he's not really moving very much is he it's not good to see it's a free kick to Pride United but temporarily they're down to 10 men Mendes swings the ball in it's headed clear Evans Quo the man back on defensive duties having uh, earlier drawn his side level so the long throw all the players staying up danger still there You can just see at the bottom of your screen there, still some treatment being issued to uh, Lucram James Singh. So still, Prague down to 10 men as Bella Razak comes forward. What a good run this is, fantastic run. In the end though, good defensive work from Faisal Raymond getting the tackle in. The danger's still there though. Carlos Hernandez looks to play it in. Tempted hooked clearance. In the end it's headed away. Hernandez again. Chandrasekhar Rao goes back even further and the long ball then from Jana Chandra Singh easily cut out and by playing with a little bit of confidence at the moment as you might expect from a side that's just scored Yusuf Yakubu goes down under challenge feels he was fouled not given and Pryor can come forward again Ranty Martins on the rampage still the danger there Luke from James Singh back on the field and it's flapped at a little bit by Luke Lewis uh, Barreto and still the danger is there still it's not cleared in the end it's hooked away not the most convincing defending from Mumbai but it'll do and now they can move forward themselves Evans Quow again shakes off one challenge gets the shot in and it's wide of the mark he's frustrated perhaps he feels he should have done better he was under challenge from uh, Dana Chandra Singh. Just felt he got a little nudge in the back there, I rather fancy it. Put him off balance. He's landed awkwardly and now he's holding his back. So excitement and action at both ends. Evans Quo in a little bit of difficulty. Just fell awkwardly, I rather fancy. Under that challenge from Dana Chandra Singh. And the referee at the other end is asking for a stretcher. Evans Quo back on his feet. And Carla Jamil, I'm sure a happier man than he was at the half-time interval, now his side are back on level terms.
just see there Harun Amiri making his way off the pitch physiotherapist just indicating he got a little bit of a stamp on the foot and so uh, both teams now having players requiring treatment look from James Singh having gone off a short while ago he's back on the pitch now so Mumbai down to 10 players at the moment using their influential captain Nicholas Rodriguez with the throw for the visitors Hernandez Martins has come deep spreads the play out to CK beneath and the referee decides that a foul has been committed on the edge of the penalty area Amiri who's back on the pitch can't believe the decision Hernandez has got the ball in hand and he's going to have the opportunity to place the free kick Evans Quo just trying to uh, delay that free kick as much as possible it looked fairly innocuous there didn't it but uh, the referee obviously saw something he didn't like Yoko Shatori, tense looking Prague United coach there. There's Luis Barreto, organizes his wall. Hernandez over the ball. So is Lucrum James Singh. Hernandez, it's just over the top. Hernandez uh, this season. Got three goals in all competitions, one of them in the uh, Federation Cup and two in the I League. Last goal, in fact, uh, both these goals in the I League came in the round five game against United Sikkim, which uh, Prague won 10 1. Most comprehensive uh, result of the season for any side this term. Attempted through ball, looking for Gabriel Fernandez was a little bit too long there. And Bella Razak can bring the ball forward now for Prague. Just about reaching the hour mark then in this round nine match in the I League. 1 1. Bomic spreads the play to Beneath. Again, rugged defending from Faisal Raymond. He's been a rock at the uh, back for Mumbai today. Chandrasekhar Rao. 